Hey guys, it's Adam from Pinnacle Tech with another great tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way on how to add music from another iPod onto your iTunes library without syncing. This comes in handy, for instance, when a friend is over and you wanted all his music onto your library without deleting or changing anything on his iPod. Okay guys, oh by the way, um, this tutorial is only for um, the iPod Nano, iPod Classic, and iPod Shuffle. However, if you have an iPod Touch or iPhone, please click that big red box right over here, and it will just redirect you to my video for iPod Touches and iPhones. So if you have a Nano Classic or Shuffle, let's begin. Okay, first of all, you want to connect your friend's iPod or the iPod you're going to be adding music from to your computer and open up iTunes. So if your friend's iPod and your library automatically start syncing, make sure you end the sync immediately. Because what syncing means, it copies everything out of your library, all your music, movies, podcasts, and puts it on your friend's iPod. And then anything on your friend's iPod before the sync originally gets deleted. So since it's my friend's iPod and I don't want to delete or change anything, um, all I wanted to do was add some of his songs onto my library. First, you have to click Manually Manage Music. And what this does is it stops iTunes from automatically syncing with your friend's iPod. Okay, once you checked Manually Manage Music, you can minimize iTunes. Then go to the Start menu. Then go to Computer. Once you're at Computer, you want to find your friend's iPod. This is where it gets confusing and tricky right here. Um, you're probably like, where's all his music? I don't see any music here. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. You have to press Alt and then go to Tools. Now, when you press Alt, this toolbar comes up, so just uh, press Tools. And then go to the bottom to Folder Options. Okay, then you want to click the View tab at the top. So once you're at View, you want to go down to Show Hidden Files and Folders right there. And check that and press Apply. And press OK. So as you can see, there are many hidden files and folders. And I think the reason why Apple hid these files um, is because they didn't want people easily um, adding music and they didn't want people I guess sharing music even though it's completely legal they wanted uh, people to buy music from the iTunes store so once we're at the hidden files you want to go to iPod control then once you're at the iPod control go to music so as you can see these first six folders F00 through F005 F05 um, these are all your music, or your friend's music, I'm sorry. And you want to highlight all your friend's music, that the folders. And then, uh, see, I conveniently made a folder here that I'm going to just drag all my friend's music to. And it is just copying, so I'll get to you guys back when it's done. Okay, once you're done copying all your friends' music to a folder, we can open up iTunes into your library, and then go to your friends' music, and say, the best way to do this is do folder by folder, so we can just um, click one of them, and then press Control A, and that just highlights all of them, and then just drag all your friends' music into your own library and there we go okay guys hopefully this video helped you add some of your friends music to your own library if you'd like to see any more great tutorials in the future click that yellow subscribe button thanks